Hello everyone, I'm Deborah Courtney and welcome to my YouTube channel. So glad you're here today. I want to take a moment out to thank you all for being here, to subscribe to my channel, uh, ring the bell, hit the sub, uh, so you'll know when my videos are coming up. I'm usually uh, post them every Thursdays around one o'clock Eastern Standard Time. And give me a comment down below. Let me know what you think about the topics that we discuss. So let's get going. I am doing a series called Think About It. And there's a saying that goes something like this. This is what my theme is for this Think About series. It's for as a person thinks in their heart, so are they. And so I have written down for this Think About series has to do with connections. And connections are those people who become bridges that enable you to exit from one season and enter into another season of favor. So no relationship is, is, is insignificant in your life. I've written down, I have 14. So let's begin. What you need to know that has to do with connections. Okay, number one, you cannot succeed without connections. You are responsible to meet others. Now, you can live like a hermit. You can live under a rock, and you can do a lot of things like that, and there's nothing wrong with having quiet time and kind of getting away from people and needing some a long time. But in order to succeed, you need to connect with people, and you need to be responsible for to meet others because... Really, no one is an island in and of themselves. A lot of people may think they are, but they're not. So that's number one as far as connections and this Think About It series. Number two is favor comes your way through connections. Look for them. You know, there's a saying that goes, one day of favor is worth more than a thousand days of labor. And that is so true. I have experienced favor in my lifetime and from a number of different people. And I love it. I had rather have favor. I love favor. I love favor, uh, the, the favor that people give me, the connections of people that I know. And I'm so grateful and thankful for them for showing me favor and giving me favor from them. There's nothing can com that can compare to it than someone showing you favor and being good to you just just to be doing it it's just it's an awesome feeling and the rewards are just so astronomical because they're givers and i love a giver i like being a giver and that's what i do i do give okay the third one is your connection may not look like a connection to you Sometimes favor comes disguised as a worn out bag. Uh, it could be, you know, it, it connections come in all shapes, forms, and sizes. And sometimes it's, um, you know, it's, it, you know, there's a saying that goes something like this. It's, it's not so much what you know, it's who you know. And they they don't all the time they don't they don't look all the way they like like they should what you think they should okay number four don't cast out a connection because it does not meet your qualifications for relationship or friendship you never you know you just can't do that i mean you can do that but you really don't want to do that because sometimes it it may not be their time um some, sometimes sometimes it's just meant for you to meet a connection and that's it but it, it may they may it may come down they may come down later on it may be a week a month however long down the road and you will you you that'll come that can come full circle again so yeah don't cast out a connection because it does not does not meet your qualifications for relationship or friendship sometimes you have to work at that relationship and friendship to begin with. Uh, and then as you go through that process, then they become a great connection in, you in your life and you become a great connection in their life. 
Okay, the next one is good connections usually hang out with good connections. Uh, well, let me explain. There's, we, millionaires hang out with millionaires. Billionaires hang out with billionaires. Um, expect to find gold in every fiery furnace of your life. Best friends often come together, uh, whether it's like tragedies, um, any kind of thing like that. Uh, you know, a lot of times you meet your best friend in a tragedy, in a crisis time in your life. You can say, hey, this is so-and-so. Um, I met this person when I was going through, it might have been surgery. It, it might have been some kind of therapy. It might have done, you met them through something, maybe through a son or a daughter that you was having to deal with and you went, you met them through that way. There's the, there's so, so many ways that you can meet a good connection. And so just don't be so quick to disregard um, good connections and hang out with people that are of like-minded, of like faith, of like belief that you are. And that way, you know, you get to build those relationships and friendships and have those connections because you never, ever know what's coming in the future and how much that individual can can help you. They may may not be able to do something right now, but at least you've connected with them. It may be your time to connect with them and help them. Who knows what the future might be when it might be time for them to help you or to connect with you or to, hey, I know so-and-so who knows so-and-so, da-da-da-da-da-da. So, yeah, it all, it, it really does come full circle. Okay, the next one is connections sometimes look like unlikely people and illogical methods taking place in your life. Sometimes you don't really think about um, a, a scenario or a situation take, taking place that that would be the way you would go about it. But guess what? It worked. And so you just, you just, you know, I, I like to think about this. Most, a lot of these I've had to deal with and I've had, I've had experience in this. Um, they did not really look like I thought it, they would, it would, it would, they would person would look in order to, to, to do what I needed done at any given, at that given time. Um, because they seem like the most unlikely person and people like that do show up. Connections like that do show up. Number seven was connections are not necessarily your friends. Sometimes there are associates. You do have, and a lot of people have a hard time distinguishing between these two. Not everybody's your friend. Some people are your, is, are, is an associate of yours. And then some people are your friends. Uh, um, a lot of people use the word friend too loosely. Well, be my friend. This is my friend. How can it be your friend? And you, <laughs> you just met them. You, I, I'm the type of person, you have to give friendship. For me, I have to give it time, you know, to grow and blah. And sometimes it'll grow and then it'll, then you don't hear from a while. Then, you know, then you see them again and it's like, you know, no time has passed. So, sometimes they're not your friends. Sometimes they are just somebody you know, and hey, they know something that you need. Uh, so, they'll tell you, you know, hey, I've experienced that, and this is what I did, or this is the person that helped me, and it was just an associate, but wasn't a friend. Okay, number eight, connections sometimes do not feel necessarily loyal to you or consider you essential or even desirable. I have had connections like that, and there's really nothing wrong with that. Uh, you know, it's just it's, what you, what what situation you find yourself in. Um, a lot of times, my husband my husband knew a lot of people, and they were his connections, but they're not necessarily my connections. Uh, so. They they were more loyal to him than they were me, and I didn't have a problem with that. You, you just have to be you have your your mind has to be large enough, and you have to be big enough. Uh, you, I have you have to have a 
a larger thinking capacity than to think that everybody that you know you're associated with your spouse is associated with and they you you like each other and and, and you like everybody no 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 it doesn't Sometimes it doesn't work out that way with everyone. Okay. Um, connections. Um, sometimes. Do, let's see. So, connections sometimes do not feel necessary loyal to you or consider you essential or even desirable. Okay. That was that was just. Okay. Number. Some connections can have flaws or can be repulsive to you. <laughs> oh, yeah. Um, I have experienced that in the past. And, you know, you have to have a mindset that it's just a connection. It's not somebody that you need to go into a long, drawn-out kind of uh, experience with. And so, there's nothing wrong with that. You find people will come. In, there are some people that will come into your life like that. They come and they go, but they may be someone that knows someone that knows some, you know, there's a saying, there's a saying that goes something like this, that you're like only four, four people away from where you need to be to, from where you need to get to, or what you need to know, or what you need to learn about. So sometimes they're like that. Uh, your connection may not even be a mentor to you. A lot of people have life coaches uh, or business coaches, things of that uh, like that, that nature, and um, which mentor people. I've had coaches that would mentor me, but I've had connections that that was not even like that at all. It was just a, a connection. And so they, but they helped me to get to find out what I needed, the person I need to go to. Um, connections can depart from your life never to be seen again once they have accomplished what they were sent to you for. Um, and I've had that to happen to me many, many, many times. Uh, I've had people to come into my life and they do what they need to do. They perform a task that I need to, them to perform, or they help me with whatever uh, situation I find myself that I needed help in at that time. They did that, and I never saw them again. Um, connections can be used to move you to a place of loss or favor. Exactly. Uh, sometimes people come into your uh, life for just a season. I know when my husband passed away, I had some connections that come into my life just at right after that. Uh, and then uh, I've had connections that came into my, uh, came in later on with favor towards me. And so I've experienced that. You live long enough on the face of this earth, you will experience that. Uh, people come, they'll move you in from place of loss or place of favor, because another season is coming upon you into your life. Life goes forward. It really does move forward. That sun's going to come up again tomorrow morning. It's a new day. Um, you should consider divine connections with the right people. Yep, you should. Uh, you just never know who you might need to help you with a divine connection, whatever it is. So you, I, I really am thankful and grateful for divine connections that are in my life. And it's just awesome and amazing. Last one is this. Someone is observing you who is capable of greatly showing you favor. Someone could be discussing your promotion this very moment. It all has to do with connections. Well, I'm glad you found me. 
I'm glad I found you. Go out and make it a great day and make you some great and awesome connections. I'll see you next week.